welcome everyone today. Today we will consider the nomination of Dr. Um, Arthi Kubaker to be the director of the Office of Science and Technology. Please, if you would join us at the table. Dr. Prabhakar, I welcome you and your family, and I'm sure you'll have a chance to introduce them. The position to which you have been nominated is charged with advising the president on a broad range of scientific and technological policies to address national problems. We are at a critical moment when science and innovation has never been more important to our nation's health and economic competitiveness. And for the first time in our history, President Biden has elevated this position to a cabinet level post underscoring its significance in the administration's commitment to ensuring that our nation continues to be on the cutting edge of new developments that can improve the lives of all Americans. Your credentials and accomplishments and your personal story set you apart as a true trailblazer. You are an engineer, applied physicist, pioneer and skilled manager, and you have led two federal research and development agencies and worked with startups, large companies, universities, government labs, nonprofits across a wide variety of sectors to create powerful new solutions for our critical challenges. Under Dr. Prabhakar's leadership, the Defense, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency prototype a system for directing nuclear and radiological material before a terrorist can build a bomb develop tools to find human trafficking networks in deep and dark webs, and enabled complex military systems to work together even when they are not originally designed to do so. She created a new office to spur novel biotechnologies, which kickstart the development of rapid response mRNA vaccine platform, making possible the fastest, safest, and effective vaccine development in the world in response to COVID-19. At 34, Dr. Prabhakar became the first woman to lead the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And while there, she took both the Manufacturing Extension Partnership and the Advanced Technologi Technological Partner Program to a national scale to boost competitiveness and in our small and medium-sized manufacturing base. She spent years in Silicon Valley helping to translate R&D into deployment, a big subject around here how to move more translational science. Then in 2019, she founded a nonprofit to develop solutions to challenges of climate and health and to open access for every person to have opportunities in the sciences. We are simultaneously facing our challenges on a global, the response from a global pandemic, experiencing daily effects of our challenging and changing climate. And we are on the cusp of discoveries that we need to meet the challenges facing our nation. Science has never been more important, and Dr. Prabhakar is absolutely, I believe, the right person to lead this agency. She's exactly the kind of inspirational leader we need to make progress on the growing need to have more women participating in science and across technical workforce needs. I'm also confident she's the right person to work with us on implementing USICA, the US Innovation and Competition Act. While the United States is a leader in scientific and technological innovation, we have fallen short of consistently recruiting, retaining, and promoting women and diverse individuals in the STEM field. In my state, Washington has a thriving technology, aerospace, and biotechnology sectors and space sectors. Our success as a state would not be possible without those contributions of women in our science and engineering fields. But in order to continue that success, we need to have even more women in science. We need more diversity in science. So addressing the gender, racial, and ethnic disparities in STEM needs to be a national priority. USICA also requires the Office of Science and Technology Policy to develop policy guidelines to ensure that federal research agencies improve outreach to minority-serving institutions and improve their research and competitiveness. It requires efforts to reduce sex-based and sexual harassment involving recipients of federal research awards. USICA requires the director to establish an interagency working group to ensure that coordination among federal agencies and activities in key technology areas, which are vital to the US, continue to see leadership by the United States on a global basis. These are areas like artificial intelligence, quantum science, cybersecurity, biotechnology, and other leading edge technologies. Amen. And so these agencies are going to have to submit to Congress 
a comprehensive national science and technology strategy. So that's a lot of work to do, but we're up to the task, and you certainly, Dr. Prabhakar, are up to the task. So look forward to hearing your opening statement and the question and answer period with our colleagues. I will now turn to my colleague, Senator Wicker, for his opening